proud past, fearless future. That was the idea behind the return of Marilyn Madness to the historic Cole Fieldhouse. The Turfs wanted to honor their tradition and legacy in their final year in the ACC, while looking forward to a bright new future in the Big Ten. There was great excitement to return to the venue that hadn't hosted a basketball game since 2002, the season the Turfs won the national championship. Students lined up hours in advance, and even non-student fans flocked in attendance. Midnight Madness is a tradition celebrated all over the country now, and it started with Lefty here in this very building. He was the one that started it all, and we need to come out and, and show us that where it started is still where it's at. And um, just in tune with like, celebrating our tradition, we weren't here when Len Bias played, but it's such a big deal, and it's going to be a big deal when it's the future, and our friends are the ones who are playing here, and everyone's going to know who Charles Mitchell is, and who Deswell is, and it's just, I don't know, we just like to celebrate that tradition. Yeah, it's not worth it. Before the team took the court, fans received performances from the cheerleaders, Jim Connor, Maryland's acrobatics and tumbling team, and took in the famous alumni game, which featured older players like Walt Williams, more recent players such as John Gilchrist and Eric Hayes, and members of the 2002 national championship team, Byron Mouton and Juan Dixon. When the team took the floor, each player donned the jersey of a player who played in their number before them further honoring their tradition. Cole, it's, it's historic. More number one teams have traveled here and lost than any other venue in college basketball. They get there. It's a record that still stands. Stuff that a lot of people like in our age group haven't had a chance to experience because we haven't been back here in over 10 years. I've heard it's a lot louder when it's packed than Comcast. Everything is so compact and dead. And the fact that it's sold out, there's a chance that, you know, we'll actually be able to experience that tonight. Well, I, no, I'm not from Maryland, so I, I wasn't here when they played here. Um, but just knowing about the O2 National Championship and the great players that have played here, like Len Bias and Ron Dixon, um, you know it's something special when you get a chance to go back and play in a, in a place that hasn't been used in so long. I think for the fans that show up tonight, especially the older ones, they're going to get a lot of memories uh, brought back into their mind from the days back in the 70s and 80s when they had their own uh, days in college, and they're going to get to relive that tonight. Like, I've read There's stories about the yeah. Duke game here, like how they played 2002, the last time they won the national championship, so it's definitely a cool experience. Even though I don't get to see a game here, I get to see like an awesome game. Yeah. Des, how did the mid-court taste when you kissed it? Well, I didn't lick it, so... Um, <laughs> but it was great. You know, it was great. I, don't, I, probably, I don't know if I get a chance to be on that court again or in this. The reason my first time being in the arena since I've been in Maryland, and I've walked past a lot of times, this is my first time being here. So that was just just my, I guess my token of appreciation for all the guys who came before me who made this place a historic place to be at. So, and like I said before, I don't know if I ever get a chance to be in here. I'm not sure if we'll have games here this year or for my senior year. So, you know, I just wanted to have a lasting impression on this place. Des Wells isn't the only one lobbying for a regular season game in Cole. Many people are, but the expense and preparation of doing so poses many challenges. The floor needs to be brought in and laid down, and Cole isn't currently equipped for the latest TV setup. But for many students, making Maryland Madness in Cole a tradition would certainly be an acceptable consolation. I think this is the best idea they've had so far in terms of like a tradition. Like I think they should do this every year because it's great to look back and go back to Cole. You know, for me, it was pretty powerful to just think about, you know, the memories uh, for so many people that as they came in here, you know, having coached here and, 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 and the past in front of us. And, um, you know, what a special way when you talk about, you know, as we finish here um, in the ACC and get ready to go to the Big Ten and, um, you know, all of it. I mean, just kind of blended it all together. I thought it was perfect.